Hi, I'm Ritu Seji, and I'm at Westlake Boys High School, um, TIC Food Technology, HOD now, so, yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Ritu Seji, and this year I started teaching at an all-boys school over the bridge after having taught only girls for several years. Um, statistics uh, show that girls outperform boys, but there are several variables. The focus of my inquiry is boys' engagement and achievement. I felt empowered to take on this new challenge due to several reasons. One of the key being change in mindset following my personal and professional uh, professional development on Twitter over the past nine months. Uh, the challenges I faced were poor perception by staff, students, parents, and wider community around technology education, using BYOD applications and pedagogy effectively, uh, students having minimal prior knowledge and understanding of technology standards and vocabulary, and having two new teachers on board. Uh, my first aim was to know my uh, learners, irrespective, uh, undertake pedagogical readings and research, set smaller milestones and strategies informed by my research. I wanted to maximize opportunities and use strategies for teaching and learning by investing, inviting global mentors and male role models, forming links with industry and community, providing project and inquiry-based learning, providing individualized, interesting, fun context, encouraging cross-curricular inquiry and collaboration, and most of all, changing perceptions by showing students that social media can be used for learning, using smarter digital applications for sharing student work and for collaborating. I set out to use guidebooks, examples, uh, and storyboards, focus on facilitating hands-on sensory learning, I have gradually started to wean students from being totally dependent on teachers to be their own teachers, provide competitive yet cooperative learning opportunities by organizing challenges, uh, include skills training, providing authentic clients and briefs, uh, encouraging home learning and ways to engage students, allow students to move around in the classroom and teach them to practice self-discipline in their movement via mindfulness. This opened up a whole new area for inquiry and professional development. I now give everything a go and see what brings about the shining eyes in students. Allowed my, it also allowed me to shadow coach teachers in a more casual setting. I reflect and review on an ongoing basis and I try to be a novice. I create lessons to flip learning. I provide differentiated learning opportunities. I soon realized that some students work well in groups and some work better independently. Students like choosing context they are passionate about or keen to learn more about. The impact this has ha uh, had on my students is evident in student feedback. Survey suggested most students wanted to learn skills and do well. I have seen a huge shift in stu uh, student work ethics. Students are developing skills for independent learning and self-management. Uh, my messages to my colleagues are always have high expectations. Uh, communicate with professional learning network. Great ideas and strategies come from sharing and collaborating. It is important to challenge and extend yourself to extend students. Everything is worth a try. Show and spark passion. Show students different ways of achieving and presenting the same work. Here are some links that you could look at later. And my last slide. Uh, there will always be varied opinions and views that challenge us. After attending the Visible Learning Summit in Auckland and listening to Professor John Hattie's keynote speech, my brain was a buzz. Words that lingered in my mind. Show students what success looks like. Focus on significance of surface learning. Focus on the effect size. So once in a while, when I have information overload, I stop, I re reflect, I review, I research a bit more and see relevance and keep the key focus the key focus which is to make informed decisions and implement strategies that have a positive impact on student engagement and achievement. And thank you, everyone.